The Fermi paradox is mind boggling. If the universe is so vast and so old, why haven't we found any evidence of intelligent extraterrestrial life? The universe is about 13.8 billion years old, and there are billions of galaxies in the universe, and each galaxy contains billions of stars, and many of these stars have planets that could potentially support life. And the laws of physics seems to be the same everywhere in the universe, so the chemical reactions that led to the formation of life on Earth could have happened on other planets too. So if life is common in the universe, then intelligent life should be common as well. But we haven't found any sign of intelligent extraterrestrial life yet. And there are many possible explanations for the Fermi paradox. People think that intelligent life is rare, and that we're just simply the first ones to evolve and try to find other life out there. Others believe that intelligent life is common, but that we have not been able to detect it because they're too far away or because they use a form of communication that we just don't understand. And Elon Musk is trying to solve this problem. He believes that artificial intelligence will be the key to answering the question of why we, as an advanced civilization, have yet to encounter extraterrestrial life, despite statistical probabilities suggesting otherwise. And in his recent Twitter spaces, Musk detailed the mission of XAI. It's his new company. He's not a stranger to space exploration. He has SpaceX working on the Starship to take people to the moon and to Mars eventually. But there are other things that are unexplained. And XAI aims to develop an artificial general intelligence that will surpass human cognitive capabilities. The AGI, as Musk has said, is not simply a tool to solve complex mathematical problems or to perform intricate analytical tasks. It would go beyond our current grasp of the universe, deciphering the enigmas of dark matter, dark energy, and gravity. These are the fundamental forces and elements of the universe. Fermi's genius also led him to a different conclusion. Why, of any civilization with even a modest level of rocket technology, they could colonize the entire galaxy within tens of millions of years, given it enough incentive, why haven't we seen them? It's also since sparked a myriad of proposed solutions from the scientific community. One theory suggests that other civilizations mirroring our own dependency on fossil fuels might have self-destructed due to unsustainable practices before they had the chance to reach out across the interstellar void. Other explanations propose that alien radio signals are yet to reach Earth, that intelligent life forms might reside in the interiors rather than the exteriors of planets, or perhaps that their technologically superior aliens might exhibit the great indifference towards lesser intelligent species such as us, kind of like what we do to ants or what we do to bugs. And at the core of Musk's fascination with the Fermi paradox is this concern that we may be the only beacon of intelligence in the universe. This is a troubling thought considering the nature of life on Earth. In a tweet from 2018, Musk said, This is why we must preserve the light of consciousness by becoming a spacefaring civilization and extending life to other planets. And Musk isn't alone at XAI. The team comprises former luminaries of AI organizations such as OpenAI and DeepMind, as well as tech giants Microsoft and Tesla and Google. Additionally, Dan Hendricks, director of the Center for AI Safety, is serving as an advisor. And in recent years, the Center for AI Safety has been vocal about the possible risks AI can pose to humanity's future. Mitigating these threats alongside other societal scale dangers like pandemics and nuclear war. And in May, hundreds of AI experts, scientists, and CEOs echoed this sentiment in a joint statement. However, Elon Musk, while deeply involved in AI advancement, didn't sign this particular statement. Instead, Musk added his signature to an open letter issued by the Future of Life Institute in March. This document urged AI companies to initiate a minimum six-month moratorium on the training of AI systems more potent than GPT-4. Now, given Musk's history with AI and his well-documented concerns about its potential threats, his engagement in this AI safety discourse is hardly surprising. Musk, a founding chair of OpenAI, together with Sam Altman, OpenAI's current CEO, and a consortium of investors committed $1 billion to establish OpenAI in 2015. Musk himself claimed to have contributed $100 million to the fund, 
a figure he has also reportedly halved in some instances. The narrative surrounding Musk's exit from OpenAI is kind of shrouded in mystery. And Musk publicly announced his departure from OpenAI in 2018, setting potential conflicts of interest as Tesla began to focus more heavily on AI. And a report from Semaphore in March claimed that Musk had offered to lead OpenAI, subsequently leaving when his proposal was rejected. Additionally, the Financial Times reported in April that disagreements with the board members and staff over AI safety issues contributed to Musk's departure. And ever since leaving OpenAI, Musk has been openly critical of the company's shift in direction. In an interview with Tucker Carlson on Fox News in April, he remarked, they are now closed source and they are obviously for profit and closely allied with Microsoft. Now, Microsoft and OpenAI share a multi-billion dollar partnership that offers OpenAI edit this out. Microsoft and OpenAI share a multi-billion dollar partnership that offers OpenAI access to Microsoft's cloud computing resources in return for the use of OpenAI's AI systems to enhance Microsoft's products. Now, in the same interview, Musk expressed his concern about AI models being trained to be, quote, politically correct and pledged to create a truth GPT, a maximum truth-seeking AI. And his belief in an AI's capability to seek truth underlines his approach to AI safety, a factor that has drawn criticisms from experts and researchers, including ex-AI advisor Hendrix. Now, concerns are mounting that adding other resource-intensive companies to the AI ecosystem could ignite a competitive rush to develop more powerful AI systems, undermining efforts to ensure their safety. Now, echoing these concerns, though, Hendrix wrote in April that the emergence of a new major AI development will likely increase competitive pressures, leading to sacrifices in the trade-off between safety and competitiveness. However, in a recent Twitter discussion with Congressman Ro Khanna and Mike Gallagher, Musk defended his approach, stating that a maximally curious AI, one that strives to understand the whole universe, would inherently be pro-humanity as humanity is inherently more interesting than its absence. Jess Whittlestone, head of AI policy at the Center for Long-Term Resilience, which is a UK-based think tank, was less optimistic about Musk's approach, terming it as pretty unorthodox and quite naive. And Whittlestone questioned the clarity and feasibility of an AI being maximally curious and dismissed the presumption that such an AI would naturally be pro-human. 